Why are you voting? Well, you know that your rights, your health, your health care is on the line. You know that they are trying to push through a justice who has been critical of upholding the Affordable Care Act, and they're doing it in the middle of a pandemic. And you can see here in this room the misplaced priorities of this Republican-run Senate. And it's in your hands to change it. Are they working to pass a bill to help Americans to get the testing they need to save their lives? Are they working to help the moms trying to balance a toddler on their lap while balancing a laptop on their desk? Are they trying to help our seniors isolated, missing graduations and birthdays? Are they passing the bill the House passed that would help our economy? That's not the priority. Instead, they choose to do this. So no, we cannot divorce this nominee and her views from the election we are in. We didn't choose to do this now, to plop a Supreme Court nomination hearing in the middle of an election. They did. So the reason people aren't going to fall for this is because it is so personal. The over 210,000 people who have died, the school cancel, the small business clothes, the job you don't have, the degree you couldn't get. It's personal to me because my husband got COVID early on. He ended up in the hospital for a week on oxygen with severe pneumonia. And months after he got it, I find out the president knew it was airborne, but he didn't tell us. We were cleaning off every surface in our house and my husband got it anyway. We didn't know. And my dad at 92, he got it in his assisted living. I stood there outside his window in a mask and he looked so small and confused. He knew who our family was, but he didn't know what was going on. I thought it was going to be the last time that I saw him. He miraculously survived. But Marnie Zhang, she didn't. Marnie was a rising star, the chairwoman of the St. Paul School Board in just 31 years when COVID took her life. Her dad felt sick. She went with him to the hospital because he was scared. And then she got sick, never got off a ventilator and died. The daughter of Hmong refugees whose parents fled Laos to a refugee camp in Thailand before arriving in Minnesota. Marnie and her seven siblings grew up in St. Paul. Their family? the American dream. This is who this virus has taken from us. Someone who has left behind a mother and a father and seven siblings who loved her and someone who undoubtedly would have made the world a better place. The president could have saved so many lives. Instead, he's been reckless, packing people in without masks for your nomination party, Judge Barrett. 35 people got sick, the president himself ends up in the hospital, and when he leaves Walter Reed, still contagious, he defiantly takes off his mask and walks into the White House. And then he lies and says the virus will magically go away. The truth.